Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. Today we'll be working on your midterm assessment review worksheet. We will be covering today comprehension, vocabulary, grammar, and writing. We will be reading the text together. Do you have a wish? Do you have a wish? My cousin Emily wishes for different things. My cousin Emily wishes for different things. She wishes for new shoes. She wishes for new shoes. She wishes for ribbons for her hair. She wishes for ribbons for her hair. She wishes for toys. She wishes for toys. My brother Justin wishes for different things than Emily does. My brother Justin wishes for different things than Emily does. Justin wishes for a computer. Justin wishes for a computer. He wishes he could fly. He wishes he could fly. He wishes he could travel to the moon. He wishes he could travel to the moon. I like to wish too. I like to wish too. But I wish for different things than Justin or Emily. But I wish for different things than Justin or Emily. I wish for sunny skies. I wish for sunny skies. I wish for a letter from my grandmother. I wish for a letter from my grandmother. I wish I could see my friends every day. I wish I could see my friends every day. Everyone has wishes. Everyone has wishes. Our wishes don't have to be the same. Our wishes don't have to be the same. We are all different. We are all different. And we all have different wishes. And we all have different wishes. The first part on your midterm assessment review worksheet is comprehension. So let's answer the questions. Choose the best answer. Emily wishes for A. Sunshine B. To be a superhero C. Toys and D. All of the above. Lamar. Toys. Correct. Question number two. Justin wishes A. To travel to the moon B. To have a computer C. To fly D. All of the above All of the above. All of the above, correct. Question number three. All the wishes were A. The same B. Different C. Silly. D. None of the above. And Jack Swayden. Different. Correct. Question number four. The purpose of this story is A. To tell you not to wish for things. B. To tell you your wishes should be the same. C. To tell you it's okay to have different wishes. D. To tell you it is wrong to have different wishes. Ali Shogri. To tell you it is, it is okay to have different wishes. Correct. And that's C. C. And now we will be using the flow chart to identify the important details in the text. Who can tell me what does Emily wish for at the beginning of the story? Linda. Shoes, ribbons for her hair, and toys. That's correct. She wishes for new shoes, ribbons for her hair, and toys. Who can tell me what does Justin wish for in the middle of the story? Kareem? Justin wishes for a computer. Justin wishes that he could talk to the moon. Justin wishes to fly. 
Correct. Justin wishes for a computer. He wishes he could fly. He wishes he could travel to the moon. And who can tell me what does the narrator wish for at the end of the story? Ali Shogri? Sunny skies. Mm -hmm. A letter from my grandma. From my grandma, Ali? <laughs> from my grandma or the narrator's grandma? His or her grandma, right? His grandma. Sunny skies. A letter mm -hmm. from, we can say his or her, because we don't know if she's a male or female, um, from his or her grandmother. He wish he could see his friends every day. Mm-hmm. Vocabulary. Fill in the blanks with the correct vocabulary word. Wish, computer, ribbon, sunny, different. Number one, we all have blank wishes. Ready? Different wishes, correct. Number two, my cat has a pink blank around her neck. My art. Ribbon. Ribbon, that is correct. Number three, I blank, I could travel to Spain. A seal. Wish. Wish, that is correct. Number four. I lost all the data that was saved on my blank. Adam. Computer. And that is correct. Number five. It is warm and blank today. Hala. Sunny, and that is correct. Part three, phonics. We need to sort the spelling words by the long vowel sounds A, I, O, and U. First of all, we're going to start with long A. What, look at the chart and tell me the words that have long vowel sound A. Ape and, scrape. Ape, and scrape. Ape and scrape. Ape and scrape. Any other words? No. Correct. Now, let's do the long I sound. Cries. Cries. And hike. Any other words? No. And that is correct. Long O sound. Hole. Cope. Any other words? No. And that is correct. Long U sound. Fuse. Fuse. And rule. Any 
any other words? No. no. And that is correct. In this question, we need to put these words in alphabetical order. We have the words we have: wish, hair, ribbon, moon, cousin. The first word would be cousin. <coughs> cousin, and that's correct. Number two. Jude. Hair. Hair. Correct. Number three. Leia. Moon. Moon. Correct. Number four. A seal. Ribbon. And that is correct. And number five, Adam Wish. And that is correct. Part four, grammar. Circle the subject of the sentence. She has a kitten. Number two, Sammy bought a new car. Number three, the squirrel ate an acorn. The squirrel. Number four, they worked on a school project. Number five, Tanya washes the dishes after lunch. Number two, underline the predicate of this sentence. We are best friends. What is the predicate of this sentence? All best friends. All best friends. Sentence number two, the weather is humid tonight. It's humid tonight. Jack sat on the hill. The girl helps her mother. Or mom, I'm sorry. Number five, I play with my friends. Okay. Read each group of words. If it's a complete sentence, we need to write yes on the line next to it. If it's not a complete sentence, we need to write no on the line next to it. Sentence number one, dad feels sad. Yes. yes. Sentence number two, the ants. No. Sentence number three, here is a gift for you. Yes. Sentence number four, I painted this picture. Yes. Sentence number five, is here. No. Good job, correct. Rewrite each sentence correctly. Sentence number one, what do you eat for dinner? You need to tell me what is wrong with this sentence. Um, a seal? We need a capital letter W, okay. And at the end, a question mark. Correct. Thank you. Number two, Jenna has a puppy. Leah? Good job. Jenna? The J has to be a capital letter, and then at the end of the sentence, we need a period point. Number three. Correct. Names always, whether it's in the middle of the sentence, whether it's in the beginning of the sentence, or at the end, has to be a capital letter. Number three. 
The car stops at the red light. Ready. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we have to put a period. Number four, he receives a letter from his father. Ali Shogri. Okay. And a point at the end. Number five is this your bag? My R. The I is capital letter and question mark at the end. And the question mark at the end. Correct. Change the following nouns to their plural forms. You need to tell me what do we add at the end of each noun. Bike. Lion. Dress. Monkey. Branch. Brush. Berry. <laughs> what do we do with the Y? Fox. Thank you. Circle the noun nouns in the sentence, then write on the line if it names a person, a place, an animal, or thing. Sentence number one, my doll has blonde hair. We can all answer. The nouns. Oh, it's a thing. It's a thing. 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 First of all, I need to circle the nouns. So you need to tell me the nouns in the sentence. Dog. Okay. And they're both things. Number two, the wolf stands on a rock. But what are the nouns? And the rock is? Number three, Shadi picks up the trash. Shadi. Trash is a thing and Shadi is a person. Correct. Number four, Spain is my favorite country. Number five, we listen to the radio. Underline the verb in each sentence. Then write on the line the tense of the verb, whether it's a simple present tense, whether it's a simple past tense, future tense, or present continuous tense. Sentence number one. I am playing with my friends. The verb is? Play.
ये प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूअस टेंस Number two, Sally jumped on the trampoline. The verb, the verb first, and the tense. Number three, yesterday I watched a movie. The verb, tense. Number four. He takes a nap every afternoon. Verb. Tense. Will the flight leave on time? And the verb. Number six. Tom and Bill are singing on stage. Verb. Tense. Number seven. She cleans her room every day. The verb. And the tense. Number eight. She is studying for a quiz. The verb. And the tense. Present continuous. Number nine. Mr. Sam hears a noise in the bedroom. Verb. And the tense. Number ten. Next year we will be traveling to France. And the tense. Excellent, excellent. The last part is writing, and the question is: Do you have a wish? Tell us about your wish in three to five sentences. So we will be sharing three of um, our students' wishes with you. So, Jude Salemi, tell us about your wish. Jude, you need to be louder. I can't hear you. I wish I had my best friend Ava back because she would always say my BFF and she would never fight with me and we would so much fun when we were together. Thank you. Ali Shogri? I wish I could gather to parents to visit them the Eiffel Tower. I will eat there and see everything from above and, uh, and to visit Disneyland because I will be so happy and have fun. Thank you. Linda? I wish that I have magic powers so that I could grant my own wishes. Excellent. All right. Thank you.